here in the Mecca. It is a Monday edition of Swolger Nation coming at you upper body. So we're, today we're focusing on a couple dynamic movements for upper body and then we'll be focusing on weak point training. This is what the big program has consisted of in phase three. So all of it is based around weak point training. Monday, picking one to two of your upper body weak areas. For me today, that's gonna be my back. My back is something I need more width on, more thickness on, so I'm gonna be doing specific exercises for those. Those of people out there that are following the big and have different weak point training, we've given them exercises specific for those areas. But like I said, the first part of the workout, just a couple compound movements for all different upper body stuff. So we're gonna be really focusing on shoulders, chest, back, triceps today. We have some cable pull downs, making that, I call them A pull downs, because you make that letter A in there. We got 15 here. And the idea is to hit everything for upper body today, because later on in the week, we'll be doing the, a similar type of day, but with different weak point. Super setting straight into face pull. Time to get warm. I should be doing alternating med ball push-ups too for one of these, but we're just gonna be doing some clapping push-ups instead. A lot of supersets today, and actually, this week specifically is a deload week, so we're still going heavy, but what we're doing is we're backing off the amount of volume that we're gonna be doing. So still supersets, and it'll probably be high volume for a lot of you out there that might not be following the big. But for someone who's following big, you'll see that the total number of reps are actually taken down a little bit. We got one thing, one exercise gonna be doing by itself, single arm, dumbbell snatch, and again, that central nervous system, Get that whole body working together. That is gonna be our last work, warm up set. And then we're gonna jump into the workout. You guys know I am all about bodybuilding, but alternatively doing things like a single arm dumbbell hang snatch. I feel like those are more athletic movements, more compound movements. I feel like at the end of the day, you get your whole body working together. So I'm picking out a 70 pound, 70 pound dumbbell here. And again, it's all about getting that posterior chain to fire. We're doing a hang snatch here. So I'm gonna be down, just letting that weight become to my legs. Snap it back up. My back today is what I'm gonna be hitting for my weak point training. That's after the fact of me getting in my standing strict press, beginning in some single arm dumbbell press. So again, everything in the week is hit typically two times. Um, arms will be hit twice, back or chest twice and then shoulders once or twice, depending on what's your weak area. I know I probably shouldn't, but I'm gonna go 100 pound dumbbell just because I think it's cool to be able to snatch 100 pounds in the air. I'm pretty much snatching your girlfriend. A dumbbell, 100 pound dumbbell. What do you weigh right now, 102? No, I weigh like 115. <laughs> he didn't do it. I'm like, he's got I like- I pretty much, pretty much just snatched her. Whatever, whatever, I snatched from his Bikini Olympia. We're gonna be supersetting strict press. When I say strict press, we're not messing around. It's none of this push press. We're strict pressing it up. Perfect form on that. Superset with seated cable row. Like I said, kind of an upper body emphasis. We're gonna hit chest, we're gonna hit shoulders, we're gonna hit back, and then we're gonna specialize in back and then triceps. It's my world championship belt that I got. Shout out to Cardello, Steve, Cook, Swolger Nation. It's my second time doing it. I used it for legs yesterday. You know how some people say, go to your happy place? Go to your crazy place to get this shit going. Let's go.
tell you what, my 2017 goal is to travel less and get on stage at least once. Cutting out the traveling, step on stage, do crazy shit, run a Spartan race, do a half marathon, do a triathlon. Just, just like, just kill everything. Like, just passionate. Passion was what just drives me. Anything that I want to do, I'm going to do it. Effort. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Ninety seconds, and then we're on to our next superset. Second superset. I told you we had chest. I told you it was coming. We had single arm dumbbell bench press. We're supersetting that with wide grip, heavy wide grip of pull ups. Hashtag big lad, hashtag small gal. Yo, bro. <laughs> Those shoulders, though. You've been on that big program? Look at that. On that big program. <laughs> Look at these arms. Don't get it. Don't get this in, Chandler. Hey. Oh, here. Hey. You're, you're probably rocking eight inch arms there. You gotta check this out. Come here, baby. <laughs> Whatever. My wrist and her arm are so close. Program. I know. Hey, you're just a little thing right now. Big lad, little thing. <laughs> 40 pounds here, here we go. Swing. Control. You gotta find someone to be competitive with, even if it's the guy behind the camera. He knocked out those hundreds. I could go 130s now. I gotta have at least 60 pounds on him on that bench press. So if he's doing 340, I need to be doing 400. So we're rocking in with that 130. This is big lad weight. That other stuff was medium lad weight. Oh, that's so heavy. Hey, Court, Courtney, 130. More than you. It's more than me right now. If I get this, you have to yell out, big lad. Big lad? All right, big lad. Let's see what you got. Big lad. Oh, that's so heavy. One, two, three. Four. Five. Come on, Bill. Big lad. Oh, man. Big lead. Behind the neck on these. That takes us through kind of the dynamic effort portion of the workout. Now we got weak point training, which is all for back. And then we got triceps at the end. So we're about 35 minutes into this workout. 45 minutes into this workout. We've still got a lot more. Let's get into the hypertrophy section, which is going to be all back. We got three exercises. Each one of them is a tri set. So the first one, supine grip, barbell row. Obviously, rowing motion here, really working that back thickness. We're then going to go to a neutral grip. It can be here, it can be here. Lap pull down, trying to hit that sternum, and then rope pull over. Each one of these should be done with a weight that you guys feel comfortable. It's heavy enough that you guys are going to be failing. Um, the best way to get lean and just keep size is to lift heavy, but to do it fast. So we're, we're, we're taxing that cardiovascular system here. We're getting after it, muscular endurance as well. But the nice thing is, row, pull down, pull over. 
So we're trying to activate, you know, we're still activating the back. There's a lot of muscles, a lot of muscles in the back. So we're trying to really isolate, I shouldn't say isolate, we're really trying to emphasize that rowing motion with a pull down. You can see obviously we're, we're engaging different areas there. A row versus a pull down and then that pull over really hitting that lower part of the lat. you guys have done. All right, last set, best set. Two, one, two, three, four. Ah. Ah. Sloppy. For triceps today, keep the intensity high. It's easy to kind of let things drag after you just knocked out a, a tough upper body workout. Um, but we're gonna finish strong, triceps. Three sets of eight reps on school pressures. Superset with diamond push-ups for two reps and rope press downs. So we had three things for triceps, blowing them up. We're also gonna hit them later on in the week. Um, and since we did back, the triceps shouldn't be really that fatigued. Biggest thing here, that elbow angle. We're not here, we're gonna be right here, top of the crown, to about 50 degrees, straight up, not all the way. This time, I'm gonna go rope and then triangle, and just do as many as I can on triangle. She made the triangle push-ups a little bit harder. Ah, failing super early on those. Triangle push-ups until we just can't move. That's what we got right now. Simple as that. Do something until you can't do any more. Oh. That, that is this workout that you live for. Come in, kill it. About an hour and 20 minutes. Get it done. Everything else in your day. It's gonna be second, second to that workout. You get through that, you can do anything today. This man, ladies and gentlemen, this man right here has been following the big program. You said you could do how much? I did hundreds on these last time. Hundreds, so I, I wanna see you just do hundreds, just for at least one right now. <laughs> just for one, come on. You, want, you got it. You didn't even give me a warm up. No, nope, no warm up. No warm up. You're, you're big on. lad, you're big lad, let's go. He was honestly behind the camera. Now you guys can see me in the mirror. I'm filming now. Come on, big lad. Dude, look out, man. We might, we might have to switch this up. I get used to being behind the camera. If you do this, man, you might have to start your own YouTube channel for lifting. Freaking that big program. Chandler went from an average size lad to a big lad. Dude, that's what we're gonna do. Hashtag, hashtag no Mac. Hey, we're gonna, we're gonna put that on a t-shirt. Big lad. Big lad? Big lad, let's go. Was that 100? Yeah. All right, you a little nervous? If you tear your pec, it's not my fault. One, don't drop it. Phone just fell. Look at that. Ain't no thing. Strong. Big lad. Big lad. No pre-workout or? No pre-workout. Straight from behind the camera. That is 100 pounds, folks. <laughs> you sound like an auctioneer. Huh? 
<laughs> you sound like an auctioneer. <laughs>